am your Shaista teacher. I welcome you all in our today's mathematics learning session. Students, in previous class, we have solved practice set 1.1, question number 3. From the information given below, find which of the point is between the other two if the point are not collinear, state so. Students, as I told you before, when points are lie on the same straight line, they are collinear point. But when points are not lie on the same straight line, then they are non-collinear points. Students, as you know that question number 3 has 6 sub question and we have solved all the 6 sub question in our previous class. Now students, today I am going to teach you question number 4, 5, 6 and 7 of practice set 1.1 which is based on betweenness, collinear and non-collinear point. Let's understand and solve all the question one by one. Let's solve question number 4 of practice set 1.1. Here, on a number line, point A, B and C are such that where distance of AC is equal to 10, distance of CB is equal to 8 and here we have to calculate distance of AB. Okay, so find all the possibility here. So, how we will solve? Here, there are two possibilities. First, when point C is between the point A and B, and the second possibility is when point B is between the point A and C. So, let's solve one by one. So, here first we will write solution. Solution. And now there are two possibilities as I told you. So, here we will write the first possibility. For first possibility, we will write here case 1. So, case 1. When point C is between the point A and B. This point C is between when point A and B. So, students first we will write here a given uh, given uh, thing which is present in question. So, here distance of uh, distance of AC is equal to 10. Distance of CB is equal to 8. This is given in question. Okay. Now, we ha here we have to find this distance of AB. So, what we will write here? Distance of AB is equal to distance of AC plus distance of CB. Okay. So, here we will write now distance of AB is equal to distance of AC plus distance of CB. Now, we don't know the value of distance of AB. This we have to find. Uh, distance of AC is 10 and distance of CB is 8. So, 10 plus 8 is equal to, you are right, 18. So, here we will write distance of AB is equal to 18. So, therefore, distance of AB is equal to 18. In this way, we did this case 1. Now, uh, let's solve case 2. So, here we will apply second possibility when point B. When point B is between, when point B is between uh, the point A and C. So, here we will write case 2 when point B is between the point A and C. Now, students, same thing, we uh, same like case 1, we will write here statement. Uh, we have distance of AC is equal to 10 and distance of uh, CB is equal to 8. Okay. Now, again, uh, same, we have to find here distance of AB. So, here we will write distance of AB is equal to distance of AC plus distance of CB. Okay. So, here distance of AC is equal to distance of AB plus distance of BC. Okay. Now, here distance of AC value we have. See this 10 is here. Okay. Now, distance of AB we are going to find this value. And distance of BC is also there. BC or we can say CB both are same. So, now here after this. Uh, distance of AC value is how much? 10. Okay. Distance of AB value is how much? We don't know. We are calculating this distance of AB value. Now, distance of BC is equal to how much? 8. So, if 10 is here positive, left hand side 10 is positive. So, if it is moving from left to right, then it will become minus. Okay. So, uh, left hand side we will put AB because we are finding that AB distance of AB is equal to distance of AC minus distance of BC. Okay. Now, 10 minus this 8. 10 minus 8, how much? You are right, 2. So, the, here distance of AB is equal to 2. So, students, in this way, we solve question number 4 of practice set 1.1. If we add, we get 18. If we subtract this, then we get 2. Okay. If we add this uh, 2 number, AC plus CB, AC, distance of AC plus uh, distance of CB, we get here 18. If we subtract this, AC minus uh, CB or we can say BC, then we get here 2. So, if add, then we get 18. If subtract, then we get here 2. 
Is that clear? So students in this way we finish question number 4 of practice at 1.1. Let's solve other question. Now students let's solve question number 5 of practice set 1.1. Here point x, y, z are collinear. Collinear means what? Collinear means point which lie on the same plane. Point which lie on the same line are known as a collinear. Point which do not lie on the same line or same plane are known as a non-collinear point. Okay. So, this question straight away saying that uh, this is a collinear uh, point here x, y, z. All three are collinear. So, point x, y, z are collinear such that distance of x, y is 17 given. Distance of y, z is 8 given. Now, here we have to find distance of distance of x, z. Okay. So, this distance of x, z we have to find. So, let's solve this sums. So, first we will write here solution. Now, uh, the given uh, as question says that point x, y, z are collinear. So, same thing we will write here. It is given that the point x, y, z are collinear. So, here uh, after writing the statement, we, we will write here other given thing that is distance of y, x, y is equal to 17. Distance of y, z is equal to 8. Okay. So, here distance of y z is equal to 8 and distance of x y is equal to 17. After this, now here what we have to find? Distance of x z we have to find. Distance of x z. So, uh, this distance of x z which we want to find here. So, this x z we will put on left hand side. Okay. x z we will put on uh, left hand side. So, uh, write distance of x z on left hand side and the other two distance we will write on right hand side. So, left hand side put distance of x z is equal to distance of x y plus distance of y z. Okay. So, the value of x z we do not know. So, keep like that only. Now, here distance of x y is equal to how much? 17 and distance of uh, y z is equal to how much? 8. So, 17 plus 8 how much? Yes, you are right. 17 plus 8 is 25. So, distance of x z is equal to 25. So, students in this way we finish sum number 5. Is that clear? Now, let us solve sum number 6. Let us solve question number 6 of practice set 1.1. Now, here uh, question says that sketch proper figure and write the answer of the following questions. Now, here question number 6 carries 3 sub questions. Question number 3 carries 6 sub question. One by one we will solve here. Uh, all these three are collinear, collinear points. Why? Because collinear point says that whenever point lie on a straight line, point lie on a straight line are known as a collinear point. So, all three are collinear. So, one by one we will solve. Sub question 1 here. If A, I pin, this symbol is known as I pin A, I pin B, I pin C. Okay. And uh, length of AC is equal to 11. Length of AC is equal to 11. Length of BC is equal to 6.5. And here we have to find uh, length of AB. So, we need to find here length of AB. Uh, two values are given. That is length of AC 11 and length of BC is equal to 6.5. So, what we will do here to find length of AB? You are right. We will subtract these two values. 11 minus 6.5. So, students, let's solve this question. So, we will write first here solution. First, we will write here solution. Now, here, uh, first is uh, this first sub question we have to write here. So, we will write here if A hyphen B is B hyphen C and length of AC is equal to 11, length of BC is equal to 6.5 and length of AB is equal to, we have to find that value because we don't know length of AB. So, here we have this given point. So, uh, we will write here we have length of AB is AC. Length of AC is equal to 11. Length of BC is equal to 6.5. Now, we do not know the value of length of AB. So, here we will write length of AB is equal to length of AC minus length of BC. Okay. Because we do not know the value of length of AC. So, here we will write length of AB plus length of BC. So, length of AC is equal to, what is the value of length of AC? You are right, length of AC is 11. And length of AB is equal to, this value we do not know. And length of BC is equal to, yes, 6.5. 
सो लेंथ ऑफ ए बी द वैल्यू विच वी डोंट नो कीप दैट वैल्यू ऑन लेफ्ट हैंड साइड सो लेफ्ट हैंड साइड वी विल पुट लेंथ ऑफ ए बी सो लेंथ ऑफ ए बी इज इक्वल टू लेंथ ऑफ ए सी वैल्यू इज लेवन If it is plus on left hand side, then if it is moving from left to right, then it will become minus. So AC is AC will minus opposite uh, operation. So AC minus BC. So AC value is eleven. Eleven minus six point five. How much? Yes, you are right. Four point eleven minus six point five. How much? You are right. Four point five. So length of AB is equal to four point five. In this way, we solve sub question one. See here, length of AC value is given eleven, and length of BC value is how much? Yes, BC value is six point five, and here we have to find this AB. Now after solving, we get here length of AB is equal to four point five. Now let's solve sub question two. Sub question two is uh, RST and length of ST is equal to three point five. Length of RS is equal to 2.5 and RT is equal to find. So let's write this sub question here. Okay. Now we have the given value length of ST 3.5, length of RS 2.5. After writing this, what we have to find here length of RT. So keep the length of RT on left hand side. Okay. So here we will write. Now length of RT is equal to length of RS plus length of ST. Length of RT is equal to length of RS plus length of ST. After drawing this line, RS plus ST is equal to RT. So keep this RT on left hand side. Yes, and now RS plus ST. So what is the value of RS? You are right, 3.5. And what is the value of ST? 2.5. Okay. So RS and ST. RS value is how much? 2. RS value is 2.5, and ST value is how much? So 3.7. Add this value 3.7 plus 2.5. Yes. After adding, you will get here 3.7 plus 2.5. After adding, you get here. What is the answer? Yes. You are right. 5.6. So length of RT is equal to 5.6. Is that clear? Length of RS given value was how much? Uh, 2.5. And length of ST we don't know. But we know the RT value. Uh, here we we don't know the RT value. We have to find the RT value. RS value is how much? 2.5. And ST value is how much? 3.7. So add these two value, you will get RT. So 2.5 plus 3.7 get 3 5.6. So RT value is 5.6. Now student, let's solve sub question third. Uh, sub question three is if x hyphen y hyphen z. Length of x z is equal to here three seven minus seven seven minus seven root. Length of x y is equal to seven minus root seven. And then here we have to calculate length of y z is equal to find. This we have to find. So what we will write here? Again we will write the sub question three here. Okay. So sub question three. After this, we will write the given value three root seven, as it is given here three root seven. So we, here we will write three root seven, and x y is how much? Uh, root seven. So put here root seven, and we don't know the value of y z. Okay. So here we will write uh, this value. Uh, first we will draw yes length of x y given x y yes uh, root seven, and here length of y z yes. We don't know the value of y z and length of x z is three. Okay, the complete line of length of x z is three root seven and length of uh, x y is root seven. See here, there is no number outside this root. That means here no number is there. That means here invisible one. Which number is here invisible one? So here three minus one root seven. Okay, so here we will write now length of x z. We are we are finding length of x z. Length of x z is equal to length of x z is equal to length of x y plus length of y z. So the value of length of x z we don't know. Keep the length of x z as it is. And length of uh, x y is equal to how much? Three root seven. And length of y z is equal to how much? Yes, y z we have to calculate here the value of y z. Okay, and x z is equal to how much? So three root seven. It is there in question. Three root seven. So put here three root seven. Okay, so three root seven. 
so 3 root 7 if it is plus then it will come here uh, so it will become minus so here uh, yz keep on left hand side this yz keep on left hand side now xz will minus okay so xz minus xy so 3 root 7 minus 1 root 7 so root 7 will as it is there will no change in root 7 simply 3 minus 1 give us 2 so 2 root 7 is that clear 3 and here no number is there that means here invisible 1 invisible 1 so 3 minus 1 2 and root 7 will become as it is okay will be here as it is so 2 root 7 is the answer so length of uh, yz is equal to 2 root 7 here length of ab is equal to 4.5 Length of RT is equal to 5.6 and length of YZ is equal to 2 root 7. Is that clear? Now students solve these sums in your notebook. Now students, let's solve practice set 1.1 last question that is question number 7. Let's read. Which figure is formed by 3 non-collinear points? Here, non-collinear points are those where uh, points are not lie on a same straight line are known as a non-collinear point. Okay, collinear means when a point lie on a same straight line, they are collinear. Whenever point does not lie on a same straight line, they are non-collinear. So students now here write solution. Solution and now here see, observe this three point, one, two and three. Okay, after joining all these three segments, we get a figure which known as a, yes you are right, triangle. Okay, so here we will write a triangle is formed by three segments. How many segments are there? One segment, two segment and three segments. Three segment join three non-collinear points. Now here we will give name to this triangle A, B and C. So point A, point B and point C. Now A, B and C are three non-collinear points. When we join all these three points, we get here triangle A, B, C. Okay. So, here we will write statement A, B and C are three non-collinear points. When A, B and C are joined, we get non-collinear, we get triangle A, B, C. They are non-collinear points. Is that clear? Now, students, in this way, we finish question number 7 of practice set 1.1. Students, today we discussed and solved practice set 1.1, question number 4, 5, 6 and 7. Today we finish practice set 1.1. Now students, your task is to solve all the 7 questions in your notebook. Students, after solving sums, you have to appear for the online test. Link for the online test which is mentioned in this video description box. Click on that link and appear for the online test. This online test is based on practice set 1.1, the topic which I taught you till now. That is basic concept in geometry, point, line and plane, uh, coordinate of points and distances, betweenness, collinear and non-collinear point. So students, enjoy learning, stay healthy, stay safe. Thank you for watching my video.